Mission Catwalk is brought to you by... With Digicel, your credit lasts longer. Love Bird Key Card. Way to pay in JA. Mission Catwalk has gone Caribbean. 15 designers from Barbados, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana and Belize will battle week after week. Three designers will have a final showdown, but only one will make it to London Fashion Week. Over $3 million in cash and prizes to be won. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? In preparation for their collection, the top three designers had a hands-on training session with Kay Davidian. And this is priceless because Kay is an international quality control manager. Sure. When you get, you get your seam allowance, you know I have to follow seam allowance, you know I have a notch. Yes. Sewing, you can close your eyes and sew, but if you do like what you're doing, you see the trouble you have because you have no seam allowance to follow. She focused on their weaknesses in terms of garment construction and the technical aspects. In terms of no, nothing is wrong with the rise. It's stretched. Or the this is an, this apparently is a knit fabric. So if they stretch here, I will show you all the techniques of making a pant that this doesn't happen. I think after this intense session with Kay, the designers are armed and ready to produce for Caribbean Fashion Week. What I'm teaching you is that your machine, you must control it. It mustn't control you. I am in love with Kate Davidian. I want to pack her up and move her into my house. She is amazing. She's a genius. It, I learned so much. I thought I knew a lot about sewing and about garment construction and about design. But I have so much more to learn, which is why I need to win this competition so I can learn more. The training session with Kay was really good. One thing I like, um, what Kay said, is don't try to, you know, design or do something that you know you're not strong in. Stick, you know, stick to who, you know, stick to what you believe in. And it's, a, it's your collection, so you must believe in your collection and do your best. So it was a really interesting um, workshop with Kay. Welcome to NCV. I never expected to be in the final three, so I mean it's uh, it's amazing. The feeling I have is amazing. So welcome to NCV. Thank you. And congratulations on being the finalists in season two, Mission Catwalk. And as a token for being finalists, NCV has some gifts for you. What could this be? Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> So yeah. we have for all three of you an iPad. So in addition to the iPad, what we have given you is a toolkit. What you have in there is a lot of the basic information sure. that you need to run your business. What it also has are many of the services that we offer to business persons at NCB. So, so you're very talented, clearly. I mean, you guys are the top three. And I hope, I would imagine you'd want to take that talent to, to, the, to, to the next to level. The next level. Yes. Uh, See, I've never, I'm pretty much self-taught. Making it to the top three, I feel very humbled and I f also feel extremely grateful. You know, last year I said that I wanted to show at Caribbean Fashion Week, not knowing where I'd get the first dollar from, not knowing how I could do that. So what do you think are some of the things that are important in business? I think like um, but some other thing in business after really like know the type of business in terms of where would you want to take the business to the level yeah. in terms of where you want to see yourself. Absolutely. And, and knowing like your market. Absolutely. And knowing your market. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're going to sell to. Absolutely. And those are actually very good points. So I'm proud of where I come from because um, it's not where you come from, it's where you're going. And my family was a very hard working family. I was grew up really strict. I couldn't um, like 
do as I like as a kid, you know, school, home, and that's it. Watch TV and then out again, school again. So Ryan, you're not saying much. Um, my question would be, how would NCB help me in Trinidad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I assume, Ryan, you'll be doing fashion shows across the Caribbean in Jamaica. Yeah. So you will have lots of buyers coming in, and those buyers can actually transmit payments through NCB to you in Trinidad. Right. Being the only Trinidadian, I feel like, you know, the Jamaicans are going to come out and represent for their people. Gregory and Crystal, amazing designers. I am ready to take over that catwalk. I visited all three designers to get an idea of where they were at with their collections. Messages, messages, I bring you messages. This is Latoya and Damani and Monique. Hi, Kenya. And Kenya and this is my cousin Shani. Hi, Kenya. Nice to meet you. Smaller cousin as well. Hi, cousin. What's your name? Kelly. Nice. So, who do you live with? Myself. <laughs> uh, before Kenya came to Trinidad, I was a bit clueless with my collection. I, I felt like I, I was really lost. I didn't know where I was going. Um, now she's here, I feel like I am in the direction I want to be. So this is my little studio. Okay, so how many pieces have you done so far? I have nine and maybe a few separates somewhere in there. You know, growing up here in Mandeville was, you know, better than what anybody could have asked for. I was the last, the baby girl of 10 children. So I had a huge family, you know, my dad had 10 kids and my mom had, you know, the last five. Um, you know, it was very interesting trying to keep up with me and my rambunctious nature. So this is my workroom slash bedroom slash everything. This is the dress that I'm working on right now, which is like a day to evening dress mm -hmm. um you can wear it to a opulent event i was born here of course as you see um this is a family yard where my dad actually born and grow my mom is not from here but she lives here now this is my first piece i've done because um i wanted this to lead me through the collection oh so this is your opening piece not no Oh. This is actually going to be my third look. Okay, so it's your inspiration. It's my inspiration, too. Yeah. So I'm telling you, I'm going to The winning's turn up! Four times a day, you could have win more. Find your Super Adventure Store. And a new game you've been asking for. I like this stout one. She's at here. The most one is at two. I would have give the fine one a four or five. Nice. <laughs> Mix 24 ways win $2,250. Mix 12 ways win $4,500. Mix 6 ways win 9 grand. Mix 4 ways win $13,500. Pick it straight and win $54,000. I love it when we play pick four with the girls. Play it now. Pick four. Turn up the winners. Key card has much more love to give. Get thousands of bonus points when you sign up or add a card holder to your account. Experience the love when you travel free to all Caribbean Airlines destinations and share the love now that your family and friends fly free too. Follow the bird and get more love. Love Bird Key Card, way to pay in JA. Contact us at 1 888 NCB first or a branch near you. So this is my first dress. This was the first, the actual first piece of fabric I got from Pablo's, okay. which I just fell in love with. So I kind of did my whole collection based on. And the long flowy dress is very, the long flowy dress is very Ryan. So Kenya's visit made me feel a little more like, you know, I'm headed in the right direction. Okay. This has a nice feel to it. But again, there's a, a lot of prints. 
This was actually a mistake. I was not going to use this. Well, you, you need to cut this off mm -hmm. and get this color thread. Nice little rust, burgundy looking color. And do this over. This cream thread doesn't work at all. Don't cut any corners. I know it's hard. I mean, you've done a lot in the, in the two months, you know? This is, this is pretty good. This is very nice. And I've probably started like two weeks ago. Really? See, you did a lot in two weeks. No sleep and just working. No eating, just working. <laughs> two weeks. So you parted for six weeks and then work hard for No, I worked weeks. for six weeks. <laughs> I had so much work to do. I've never had so much work to do in what my type life. Of work? I had carnivals for Antigua, Cayman Islands. It was stress. My work load is overwhelming. I have to I have to turn down jobs. Which is good, right? But I mean why couldn't I get it all the time? You have three more weeks, so I don't know. You gotta edit, work some magic for that three weeks. <sighs> I think you're on a very good path. It's just to edit okay. and get it right. Get rid of some of the prints. I feel like it might have gone print crazy. Um, I really chose the prints because I felt like they called my name. So I just ended up buying a whole bunch of random prints, which I can definitely see I used too much. So I guess I just need to edit. Shall we be independent? That's the message. Check the message. You better change up the structure. We on the way to destruction. My colors that I'm working with, you can see my, my makeshift mood board. I'm working with gold and turquoise and blues and um, corals and yellow and white. and a lot of colors. It's a lot of color, but the way I'm doing it is going to, to kind of just move like the rainbow. Kind of like the picture. Kind of like the picture. It all blends. The design process is still in process. It's not finished. You know, on paper is one thing, but when you start to cut, it's a whole new ball game. I've done one, two, three, four pieces. Four pieces in two months? I'll make it. You went on vacation? No, I went back to work. I lost my job the day before the audition and I said, I'm going to the audition. There's nothing stopping me from going to the audition. And I stayed up that night and I made four pieces and I took it and I was casted. And from then, it's just been a rolling ball. Like this is meant to be like, the universe is just working with me to get me into the top three. Well, these are beautiful. My collection is very mix and match, so you can wear these pants with this top or this jacket with these pants. So one, two, three. This is the fourth look. What's this on the skirt? Um, it's from, it's this actually fabric? the material, which is this fabric. Oh, this is beautiful. Tell the I'm not sure about using it. My final collection is inspired by, you guessed it, Treasure Beach. Um, it's a very tranquil place. It's off the beaten path. It's, it's very dry and arid, but also very beautiful. For me, it's where the desert meets the ocean. This season is really one of, is a really big season. So to be the winner would be really a great experience. I mean, of course, I'd love to show at London Fashion Week. All right, this actually, um, I want to do like an eye waist effect. So it's going to have a belt? No. Or it's going to join? It's not going to join. I want it to be too tough, so it's going to be small. Oh, it's going to be a top and a skirt? Yes. Oh. And then can show a little skin here, but it's going to be over nip, so it's going to be very classy. Okay. I do it a um, little bit lower the knee. I like the back. It's very interesting. What I'm going to do the back, I think I'm going to be like, like strap. String? Yeah. Lace? Yeah. Okay. Yes, lace up and stuff like that. So this is, the f this is going to be falling down to the fourth or fifth look. I'm um, choosing the fabric for my collection 
it was a task because I'm not really a colored person. I'm more into earth tone and dark and stuff like that. I'm liking the whole feel of the collection. It's nice. I'm seeing, you know, different looks that can go for different occasions. The gowns, the skirt suit, the daytime looks. What's your closing piece though? I haven't done it yet. It hasn't come to me. I did a sketch, but I don't think it's as powerful enough. My mother is the original fashionista. You know, she is the one that taught us how to dress and how to style and she actually had her own fashion business so I would sneak into her sewing room and cut her fabrics so that's how I really started into you know designing. I used a nice little gauze material I love this material it's actually it's fabulous it is. I like the complete collection I like the sketches I like the color scheme I like the palette I like the fabrics that you've chosen I, I like where it's going and the finish the designs are really good I'm just worried that with all the details that you have on each design it might not be enough time. I feel like I have a whole lot of work to do so I feel ready to go. How many looks do you say you have so far? I have, well, I have four that I've done really and I have like two looks that I cut out but I just need to make the pattern. So you know you have three weeks but left. I already have everything in my head. In your yeah. head. Yeah. I always follow what Kenneth said, you know, she, tell, she always tell you, you know, be careful and you know, she always you know, tell her as it is. Anything come to mind, she tell her. So of course, you have a chance of changing it and you know, can I edit it, you know, better and stuff like that. I'm gonna lead work with this. This I'm gonna mix this print with the brown, mm -hmm. and I think that's where I'm gonna lead from the brown into this. That's where I'm gonna incorporate the the prints here and stuff. I'm gonna mix them with solid. Mm -hmm. I still want it to have. Um, but I don't see much solids other than the colors are really dull. They just say winter. Remember, you're showing for spring, you know. I love black and earth tone color, so I decided to go with that. So what's the, what's the inspiration behind your collection? Who is this woman? Like, well, my inspiration is actually street style. So it's not something you would actually find, you know, everywhere. You would find on the street because usually people just put on anything they feel. I like the street style concept. Yeah. I realize, uh, you know, I have to really go into a lot of you know, searching, research, and, you know, thinking based on the whole um, challenge and mission catwalk and stuff like that. I must say you have some genius, interesting well, cuts. Thing. And then what I want to do, kind of the same buckle, if I will go, I'm going to do like probably a one inch come here with just the buckle on this shoulder. I feel really excited. I actually f feel like I'm ready to show at Caribbean Fashion Week. Watching sports and come in and immerse yourself like never before at the arena at the Acropolis with the most sporting events on offer each day. Enjoy our friendly atmosphere as you choose from cricket, soccer, basketball, track and field, and football. It's a whole new way to experience sports. Win big with Just Bet by placing your wager on the outcome of your favorite game or an entire series with free Wi Fi, great food, and great friends. All in an energetic atmosphere here at the arena. It's all about sports. So get into the game at the arena at the Acropolis. Acropolis. Lasker Toothpaste gives you so much to smile about with four great ways to have a beautiful, healthy smile. Lasco Advanced Cavity Protection. Lasco Triple Care. Lasco Baking Soda and Peroxide Whitening with Tartar Control. And Lasco 8-in-1 Whitening with Tartar Control. Helping you achieve positive negatives. Better dental hygiene is affordable with Lasco Toothpaste. Lasco Toothpaste. There's nothing better. They're back in Kingston. The CFW is right around the corner. I'll be seeing their designs today. Let's hope they're all finished and have all 12 pieces ready. No, we already won. We still hold on, hold on, hold on now, now. Hi designers. Hello. Today is your fitting. I'm excited to see your completed collections. I hope you all are as excited as I am because CFW is right around the corner. All right, I want to see what you have. I got a lot of fabric from Pablo's, which was one of the main fabrics that really set the color scheme for my collection. 
What did you do new that I didn't see when I visited you in Trinidad? Didn't I see this one? No? No. I did see this one. You sure? Um, getting some other fabrics in Trinidad is where I get most of my prints. I tried not to use too much prints, but I felt like the prints just reached out to me and used me. So I just used them. Okay, great. Thank Looking you. forward to this. Crystal, come, let me see what you have. I have a few pieces that I pick out from sea creatures just to bring out my artistic side because I love art and like I've been saying over and over again I'm, I'm inspired by music, poetry and art. Okay Crystal, so these are yours? Yes. I can't remember the colours. How many pieces do you have? Um, I have 12 pieces, well 12 looks. 12 looks, okay good. I've put everything that I am into this collection honestly, all of my emotions, all of my sentimental attachments, all of my um, creative um, leanings are represented in some way in the collection. I know people won't see it. Oh wow. This suit. This is nice. I remember the sketch for this suit. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. What does the skirt look like? Oh, this is nice. It like, follows the line from the jacket. Actually, like, so it, I like how it turned out here. Yeah. And it's nicely lined. Good, I like that. And um, there's this dress. Hold on to the dream. Hold on. don't look at clothes as being symbolic but for me designing is an art form so and I'm a symbolic person so my clothes will always be symbolic even if you don't see it and I have to explain it to you it's there as you've seen the entire season I'm going to what the color represent and what the line represent and all them foolishness there and what is um, this is this your closing it's my closing I'm either going to close with this or this I'm not sure but I think I'm closing with this but well, I don't need to see it I don't, I don't really need to see it I want to see it on the model okay I want to see it on the model I think I know that kind of look. Okay, very nice. Thank you. So you still yes. have a lot of work to do on mm -hmm. this. You have work to do on this one. You have a little work on this, on this, on, on this. That. I have work to do on like... You have the cover-up to do for this. So you have very little time. Fitting is today. So you'll have to work around the fitting with this. Okay? Right. okay Gregory? Thank you. Let me see what you have now. No, we are ready. How many pieces do you have? I have six pieces here, but I actually done ten. Yeah. Well, I get four. I want to get it studs and eyelids and stuff like that. Okay, so, so you have ten out of twelve done. You know, you have to show twelve pieces. I know, right? I know, I know. I leave my most, uh, my two strong pieces for last. Um, you sure you just didn't bring them because you don't want the other designers to see what you have up your sleeve? <laughs> How can you bring six pieces to a fitting? <laughs> 12 pieces you're showing you now. How can you bring six pieces to a fitting? I'm not gonna think about like what happened to the show and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, people are gonna remind, remember you from the last thing you do. You understand? So I made this collection about me. I do, it's very dark and I do that because I love dark color and stuff and it's very, of that structured feel that I love. It's actually like a representative of like three room, like three different women, you know, the good, bad, and the ugly. But everything I'm seeing here is still very dark and black. And you have any? What? What? What's the color scheme that you finished up with? Because I saw I think some the color fabric scheme I'm finished up with is actually like probably gold and white. Gold and white. white okay. Yeah. And cream that will and freshen it up and lighten like it up yeah. a bit because you don't want to just appeal to that dark gothic dark person color. alone. You know. So that's the stuff. But I think this like the. The hair and the vibes that I'm at is actually that kind of old dark feel. Okay. So this is actually like a cape gown thingy. Mm -hmm. I remember this. Yeah. You had shown this to me before. All right, good. All right, well, you have a lot of work to do, so, so get cracking. I'm, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how you're going to execute that fitting with six pieces. What are the other six models going to do? No, what I, I just need the measurements. I'm good. I visited. Ryan, Crystal and Gregory to check up on how they were doing with their collections for Fashion Week and I was very disappointed that after months to work on their collection Crystal only had four pieces ready when I visited. Gregory only had four pieces ready. Ryan had more pieces but they were all unfinished and he still had a lot of work to do and had a lot of fabric concepts to sort out and it was very underwhelming. Okay, designers, it's time for us to head out to our fitting. Okay. But I have one more thing 
to sort out with you. Okay. We have a little surprise for you. I consulted with the judges and we decided something had to be done to make us a little bit more excited about the finale show. Because at this stage, I'm not excited. What is this? Come on in. So. so, after my visit with you, the judges made a decision to have a wild card. Okay. And Rebecca was selected to show at CFW and will be competing for the prizes. Okay. <sighs> what came to my mind was like, okay, it's not like I'm going to say no, don't do it. It's not me run the show. Uh, but, um,. Cassera, Cassera, what will be, will be. Uh, why? You know? Um, Rebecca could never be a winner over me because she dropped what already. I'm not coming back. I'm still in the competition. So, it, there's no way I'm going to worry. I don't know what I expected. I tried not to expect, but I actually kind of expected maybe Ryan to be the more upset one and Gregory to be, and then Crystal to be like chill about it. But, Jeez. Um, Ryan was actually really cool about it, and um, Crystal kind of gave a little, um, I can't say the B word. Crystal gave like a little um, pissed face about it. This will be a very exciting show, so we have a lot of work to do. Let's head out to the fitting so now. She'll be fitting today? She'll be fitting today. Well, it's simple statistics, you know. If it's three people, is that? 33% chance, if it's four people, it's a 25% chance. So of course, the probability of you winning falls. You know, that's not brain, you know, that's not brain surgery. I don't understand the reasoning. Uh, what do you mean? I'm trying to decipher the reasoning. After we visited and we saw your collections, we decided to have a wild card. That could either mean that they were all really good and then couldn't decide, so then brought in the playing field, or they were all very crappy and they made a winner. May I change my baby girl diaper? Will I? Quick, quick, I call my baby mother and tell her to stay on the phone so she could hear. Baby, say it again. <laughs> say that, da. <laughs> then the TP tour up to the baby room and wait. Da, da. Mommy, baby, just start. Mommy, 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 baby, just start. Daddy. Did you still give me five free talks? Let's me share great moments. How do you use your five? Give me five.